Hi, welcome back. It's uh, Thursday morning today. I'm not quite sure what day it is during lockdown, but it is a Thursday. This morning, I was really privileged to be invited into a team meeting with a client. And the leader of that meeting left his group with a message. And that message was to be kind, particularly to yourself during this time. It reminded me of the most beautiful artwork that stands on the corner of Glenhove and Oxford Road here in Johannesburg. It's written in, in bright colors. Uh, there's another one at Constitution Hill where we often gather with our groups. And the message is simple yet profound. It reads only two words, and those words are be kind. A few days ago, I shared with you some thoughts about love being a verb, a doing word, uh, an action. And perhaps if love is a verb, then kindness and being kind might also be an action, a doing word, a verb. Just before lockdown, I was really captured by two beautiful stories that came through almost within 24 hours. The first one happens in the state of Rhode Island in, in, in America. Uh, a pizza delivery man by the name of Ryan Catterson comes to deliver a pizza to the Sheely home in West Warwick. The Ring video doorbell captures a moving image of two-year-old Cohen running out after the transaction to give this man a hug. The mum thinks this is quite cute. She posts it on her Instagram page. Ryan gets wind of the story and his story unfolds. You see, while smiling on the outside, he has been grieving the unexpected loss of his own daughter, Alicia, in the same week. And he speaks of the healing properties of an unsolicited and unscripted hug from a two-year-old. It's a, it's, a, it's a small, spontaneous act, but it has massive, unimagined consequences. The second story that captured me was a story from the world of sports, not just any sport, the, the sport of football, not just any league, but the British Premier League, uh, and not just any club. It's from Liverpool. The manager of Liverpool is a well-known household name by the name of Jurgen Klopp. And in amongst all the stress, the anxiety leading a league, and although I'm not a Liverpool supporter, I truly b believe and hope that they will win this championship league because they deserve to. But imagine the lifestyle, the, the, the stresses, the commitments, the time. And he gets a letter from a 10-year-old Dara Curley, who's a passionate Manchester United fan. He asks Klopp to please make sure that Liverpool start losing a few games because this continuous winning streak of his club's bitter rival is making him sad. Despite all the media pressures, the millions of global fans' expectations, the training schedules, the travel, the required match focus, Klopp takes time in a privately crafted letter and personalised to young Dara in a page of pure genius and one which should be made compulsory reading for all managers and sports fans alike. He talks of sportsmanship, of responsibility and of respect. Underpinning all of this lies an act of kindness. And so these small stories of kindness emerge. And in the last few days, there have been some extraordinary acts of kindness in our own neighborhood. Um, I know that some six packs of alcoholic beverages have been dropped off every now and then on people's way past to the shops or to the to the chemist. Chocolates have been left in post boxes. Um, croissants have been brought on a Sunday morning and, and left lovingly uh, at the gate. And of all wonderful gifts, some very kind and brave neighbors have brought me some hair clippers. <laughs> What a gift that's going to be to get rid of this hairstyle that I've been growing. And this doesn't take away from when I meet with Teddy or with Bash. 
I will still go and have my hair cut. And even if there's nothing to cut, I will pay for the service and I will enjoy the conversation. So today's message is just to be kind. Have a wonderful Thursday and tomorrow is the weekend.